Welcome to the 650 kilometer V10 review and hopefully going to answer is the V10 the best mid-range vehicle, one wheel vehicle out there. enjoyed every one of those um, kilometers um, and it's it's holding up really really well there's a few scuffs and there's a few scrapes it was pristine and then I had an accident I had a blowout had a puncture and the wheel went one way and I hit the pavement about 15 miles an hour it was a pretty hard hit it did go off and it did tumble and it's it it held up pretty well um, you know, there's no cracks to the shell. There's a few scuffs on the foot plate, but those are inevitable. I, I was I was surprised because all the emotions are very very shiny, very sort of polished surface. Really good looking wheel. The emotion, all emotions are, I think. I think of all the mid-range wheels. This is my favorite. So this is my personal favorite. If you've ever rung up on the phone and, and you've been unfortunate enough to speak to me and you've asked me for my recommendation, I'll always, always tend to sway towards the V10. I love this wheel. Um, one of the things I love about it, which is probably um, a bit like talking about an ashtray on a new car, is I love this handle. It's solid, it's simple, it works really, really well um, if you're in any sort of rough terrain ground where you just don't think you can make it. Um, this just comes up and you can just walk through it and just goes down so, so easily. Another thing I love feature wise with this are these big rubber foot plates. They're just so comfortable. I mean, obviously you can't, <laughs> you can't see this by me pressing it, but there's there's a, there's a lot of cushion there and it just makes it a really, really, really nice ride. But after 650 kilometers, there's not hardly any wear on these at all. So I imagine these are gonna last a long, long time before you have to replace them or think about replacing them. Guys, please like, share and subscribe and you can follow us on all these social media channels that should be on the side of the screen here. Thank you. Tire wise, like everything on this, it's, it's, it's big, it's comfy. Um, so it's a 16 inch wheel, drives more like an 18 inch. So you've got loads of clearance. So going from roads, so I travel a lot on the A40, going from road, so I go from A40 and I then go straight into the straight into the forest, onto rough or fit. Well, yeah, they can be. Um, at times they can be rough fire track, and it doesn't miss a beat. You know, it goes from one to the other without missing a beat. You don't really notice any difference between the two. Now, some of that analogies that have been used to describe the V10 and the V10F are. It's the Rolls Royce of, of wheels, you know, so big, comfortable, nice riding, plenty, plenty of power when you need it, not super fast, but it's, a, it's, it's certainly enough for me um, and sh probably enough for most, most users, uh, unless you're an, a, an adrenaline junkie and you just love to travel at speed, which is something that we never recommend. Um, it's also been described as a magic carpet, it rides like a magic carpet. And uh, one way I would describe it, not near, not as good as either of those. It's just a super comfortable wheel. <laughs> Over that 650 kilometers, we've not seen um, any drop off. We've not seen any battery degradation, it goes the same speed, it goes the same distance, 
one thing I have noticed, which I haven't been riding it as much in the colder weather, is you is you do see a significant difference between um, how far you can go when it's warm and how far you can go when it's cold. Um, even a few degrees seems to make a difference. So I was traveling in the summer, backwards and forwards, which is probably, you know, if I go the right way, 16, 17 miles there and back. If we go the wrong way, which happens now and again, um, it's 20 or the scenic route rather than the wrong way. Um, and that I was, I was probably being able to do that journey there, back, there again in the summer. Um, not so much in the winter. I think I'd struggle to go backwards and forwards. So that's a significant, that's a significant drop off that you're seeing. But that is purely down to the temperature. light you know if you have to ride in the dark or you or, or, or dusk it gives you plenty of light it gives you enough radiance for you to see what, where you're going safely um, brake light side lights are, are great um, it's like having a mobile disco with you wherever you go if you're really getting picky and you're really looking for for drawbacks then the charging port is a little bit of a pain um, I think Ian said on previous videos is that he tends to leave this up, um, which is what I do, and I usually charge it. And this acts um, almost as a stand that you can lean against the wall and plug it in. Maybe, maybe you could say it's a little conservative. They've they've underpowered it, so there's very little chance of you blowing boards, which is a good thing for me. Speed acceleration on this is absolutely perfect for me. Great wheel. I mean, I I love this wheel. I love it. Um, so I, I will be sorry when I get to the thousand kilometers and it, and it, and it goes up for sale. Um, so it might be a while um, until we shoot that video. So I'd like to hang on to it for as long as possible.